Hi, I'm Seth Shostak, Senior Astronomer here at the SETI Institute. So where do you get your science knowledge? I mean, is it from those courses you suffered through in high school? You know, biology, chemistry, physics? Well, if you're like most Americans, you get your science knowledge from, that's right, television. <laughs> All these space operas and other stuff like that. In fact, a survey that was conducted about 20 years ago showed that most Americans got their science knowledge from Star Trek. I mean, nothing against Star Trek. But if that's where you're getting your, your command of science, well, you need better command. I mean, that's, <laughs> it's not about science. It's about entertainment. But on the other hand, science fiction does give you a, a possible scenario about what's coming down the pike, the kind of science and technology developments that might influence your life, right? Things like, uh, for example, Ex Machina. Anybody see that film? You know, there's this uh, female robot, and actually uh, she's the kind of robot you might fall in love with. And uh, you know, maybe the big advantage of falling in love with a robot is that you can turn her off. Uh, you know, you can probably turn your spouse off now, a biological spouse, but that'll lead to problems. If you turn off the robot, you know, they just stand in a corner until you turn them back on. There may be some truth in that. We're understanding biology in this century, genetic engineering, CRISPR technology. Maybe we'll have designer babies and, and, and maybe, you know, we'll re-engineer ourselves or we'll just adopt the robots. I don't know, but you might want to tune in this week's Big Picture Science, which is science from the future. Well, it's actually science fiction from the future, but could it also be science from the future? Give it a listen and see what you think. So if you like this video, maybe you want to subscribe to the SETI Institute's channel, and you can do that right where you're watching this video. You can also turn on the alerts. I recommend that you do that so you don't miss anything important, like maybe the impending end of the world or something like that.